What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel, and welcome to another Pokemon Sword and Shield VGC 2021 Series 8 video. Just a few more days left to Series 8, almost done with this garbage format, but today we're going to be trying out a team that I have to thank uh, a viewer of mine for actually sending the, the code to my own team within the day that I revealed the team, so shout out to you man. Uh, I forget the name, I think it's Trendy Brendan, uh, but... Yeah, I shouted him out on Twitter and on the community tab, so thank you for making this team so quickly, I appreciate you. But yeah, uh, this is going to be Power Herb Rayquaza. If you want to see a full team breakdown, just check out yesterday's video. Uh, I go in-depth on the team and actually went undefeated in the video, I think. But yeah, uh, with that out of the way, let's get into the video. Oh, and answer my comment question of the day. What is your favorite dragon type legendary? I'm personally a big fan of Eternatus. I really like Eternatus. It's like this almost Lovecraftian Pokemon. But let me know in the comment section down below right now. Every comment helps the video as well as every like. So yeah. Also, if you want to support the channel, check out my Amazon affiliate link down below. Just buy some like Nintendo Switch product if you want. It just supports me. But yeah, my rating is absolute trash because I sort of gave up on this format like three weeks ago. I, I pretty much gave up on this format in particular three weeks ago because it's ending anyways and this guy is not even playing the format. He's playing a completely different game. Wow. Uh, I, I suppose we always... <laughs> I'm sorry. I wanted to play the the format that we're playing right now. Like, I guess I could have brought a Series 7 team or a Series 9 team to this game. But, yeah, okay. Alright, Um, it's just Cole... We can beat Cole pretty easily by leading off with, uh, we can go Grim, Grim Meta. Actually, I guess we go Grim, uh, Grim Lay. why am I saying Lele? Grim Finny. Metagross in the back and, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll bring the, <laughs> we'll bring the, um, the Rayquaza, cause, I mean, yeah, I could play fair and be like, oh, you don't have a Legendary, I won't bring mine, but, st like, like, you're playing the format wrong, man, you know? That's how low my ladder is. We're literally playing people preparing for the next format on the wrong ladder. So this should be interesting. By the way, I am going to be releasing um, a free-for-all video tomorrow. It was really fun. I recorded it with Joe UX9, Sierra Dawn, and the main event. So that's going to be going up tomorrow. I want to expand into a little bit of casual content, at least like, you know, casual content that I know people will enjoy. And this is a really fun video, so that'll be going up tomorrow. I'm just going to make it a series, so every Friday we do a free-for-all. There's the Dragapult and the Colossal. I feel no fear just Dynamaxing this Tapu Fini. Like, tell me one thing on his team that deals a Tapu Fini. Rillaboom, but I don't care. <laughs> I truly do not care. I'm going to get off this light screen. Actually, maybe I don't Dynamax. Maybe I literally just muddy water in case they decide to switch out. I'm going to do that. I want to play it safe. We are really low ladder, but I still want to play it safe. Because if there is a Rillaboom, it'll mess me up. And Finny can definitely take a hit from Colossal. As they just opt to Dynamax, and now I feel like an idiot. That's a little bit unfortunate. I mean... What's the likelihood they have a grass move on this thing? Pretty high, actually. Colossal does like carrying grass moves. So they're going to go for an ally switch. Okay, it looks like I did make the right play then. We are not messing with ally switch, Dragapult, Colossal. Like, yeah, I'm going to activate his weakness policy, but I'd say this is pretty worth it. And we get an accuracy drop, so that might be useful later if it doesn't just straight up go down. All right. There's the overgrowth. They are carrying it, but I should tank that. Nice. Yeah, Finny's way too bulky, man. Let's see. They're likely just going to go for the rock move now. I could, since they set up Grassy Terrain, I'm not taking as much as I would from their rock move. I could just start clicking Scary Face and protect this turn to tank the hit. 
the reason I'm clicking scary face is because I want to be able to come in with my um, with my Metagross and outspeed. And I think that at plus two, even if it's like max speed, colossal outspeed, let me double check. Let me double check. Max speed colossal. So they go for the overgrowth. It hits 90 speed, so that is 180 speed at level 50. It might actually outspeed zero speed investment metagross, even if it's only at plus two. Yeah, it does. We're speed tied if, if it's max speed. I don't mind that though. Um, I'm actually pretty cool with that, to be honest. Because they haven't clicked the rock move yet. It makes me feel like they're just not gonna. Do I need Finny to win? I really don't, to be honest. I'm just going to go ahead and scary face again. And assuming that they're just going to ally switch this turn, because I think they would just ally switch here, right? I'm actually going to try to scary face the Dragapult, because there's no reason to burn the Finny. It just literally makes no sense. We're going to get in the Metagross here. Because Ally Switch does have plus two priority, it'll go before. There it is. Nice. Got him. Alright, tell me you overgrowth again. Oh, he vocalith. That's fine, I'm gonna resist that. The chip damage is pretty annoying though. So he's got Surf, Ally Switch, Will-O-Wisp. I'm going to say he's not carrying a Dragon move. He might be. It is It is possible, you know. All right. So now I can get it back down to neutral speed just by, uh, or I can at least get it to a speed tie. It has to be like timid max speed, which most of them aren't, if I scary face a third time. And I'm somewhat willing just to protect here. Or I could double out into the finny. I'm going to double out into the finny, because they're just going to heat wave. Let's see if the ally switch again. They do not. Okay, so I got rid of the main issue here, just being fast colossal. So they attempt to willow with me. That's fine. And the heat wave shouldn't be doing too much. Yeah. I do take rocks damage. Uh, however, the only way they can avoid losing their Colossal here is if they are running a... Are they running a Dragon move? I mean... Not if they're running a Dragon move, they're running a Ghost move. I'm just going to Spirit Break this Dragapult then and go for this Heal Pulse. Not Heal Pulse. Go for this Muddy Water. Because I think I can just win by Dynamaxing my, my Rayquaza at this point. Like, Colossal is a pretty non-issue. And my Rayquaza doesn't mind getting burned or anything. It is a special attacker, so I should be fine. The Colossal is running Protect. That's all right. At the very least, I'm going to get some damage off on this Dragapult. So they attempt to Surf to KO me. That's pretty funny. Finny does eat that. In fact, both of them eat this. So I think I just take this now. They critical hit my Grimstar, which is a little bit annoying. I better not miss. Hey, I missed. Okay. That wouldn't have KO'd anyways. That's fine. I, at the very least, have stalled out a decent amount of these rocks turns and wasted their Dynamax, so... I should be able to Dynamax my Rayquaza now and just win.
I'm going to say my play here is... The question is if they ally switch, and that's my main issue here. I could double into the Dragapult to call the ally switch, which I think is always going to be their play, so I'm just going to do that. Because even if they don't ally switch, as long as they aren't carrying, like, a ghost move, I, I should be fine. Or as long as they're not carrying, like, Phantom Force, I should be fine, which I don't think many Dragapult do on Colossal. They're usually, like, breaking swipe. My main concern is, like, ally switch heat wave. There it is. Okay, cool. I made the right play. So now I'm always going to outspeed this Colossal since it's at neutral speed. Uh, there's the Airstream. It's not going to KO, but it will allow my Stomping Tantrum to always outspeed Timid Max Speed Colossal. And now I can just Airstream into the Dragapult and click whatever I want. Be gone. I just want to say, I called every ally switch barring the first one. How are you going to run ally switch and still mess up? Alright, now I just have to call one more ally switch. <laughs> I have to get rid of this uh, Dragapult. And I think that might have been the last turn of rock, so there might be one more. There's the Incineroar, okay. So I'm going to say my play here is just going to be to protect my Metagross and Max Airstream the Dragapult, since Metagross is likely just going to get faked out anyways. And that's the last turn of rocks, right? Yeah, no more rocks. There's my protect. They go for the fake out. Get off this max airstream. And that's a KO. As their last Monza Conkler, I think I just win now. Um, I can pretty safely actually just double into this. Actually, should I just max airstream the Conkler? They're usually, they're usually running um, assault vests, so I don't know. I guess the last thing I want to do is get like Iron Fist ice punched. But I don't think even assault vest Conkler takes a uh, max airstream from this range, at least not a special one. Yeah, that's a straight up KO. Alright. And I'm going to assume the Stomping Tantrum doesn't, you know, just naturally KO. It's probably going to do like 80. Eh, 60. With the berry, cool. At the very least, I get to click Meteor Beam. <laughs> I kind of hope they take the Metagross so I can Meteor Beam now. Yep, there's the Flare Blitz. That'll knock up my Metagross. And here I just get to click the funny move. Alright, here goes. Hopefully I don't miss. I don't think it matters if I miss, because I can just start clicking Hurricane. And as long as I don't miss those, I'm fine. And that's a thumbnail. Right there, that's a thumbnail. Be gone, Incineroar. Get out of here. Nice. 
All right, I got time for one more. That was a lot longer of a match than I anticipated. Just because I had to play really slow and balanced. All right, let's do this. Hopefully we can actually play a restricted team. <laughs> Because that was kind of awkward. I was like, wow, that's a, that's a Series 9 team. I mean, you guys are probably ready for Series 9 content anyways, you know? Okay. So we're facing Lapdog. Um, Lapdog plus Thunderous, Amoongus, Landorus, and uh, Umbreon. Let me think. You know, I haven't faced much Lapdog yet. Hmm. You know, I, I didn't really think this one through. When I built this team, I didn't have a Lapdog matchup in mind. I had a Sundog matchup in mind, but... <laughs> I don't know why this one caught me off guard. I definitely should have thought of that. I'm going to say Metagross is my best bet. Metagross is actually pretty phenomenal in this one. Um, I should be able to lead off Metagross Rillaboom pretty safely. I'm going to want to bring the Grim Snarl for sure, and let me think, Tapu Fini or Incineroar. I'm pretty much leaving the Rayquaza at home for this one. There isn't much it can do. I'm going to say I probably get the most value out of the Incineroar. Actually, no, I'm going to say Tapu Fini mainly because I want to avoid Amoongus Spores at all costs. All right. Thunderous Lapras, that's fine. I should be able just to, um... Ooh, here's the question. Where are they going to Dynamax? Because a fake out would be phenomenal right now, you know? They're probably just going to Dynamax the uh, Lapras here. I don't see Dynamaxing Thunderous ever being the play. So I'm somewhat tempted just to max Hailstorm it right off the, uh, right off the bat. Are they even threatening? I mean, mm. let me think. How would they even Dynamax this Thunderous, given the rest of my team? I don't think so. I think Lapras gives them a lot more value. I almost want to hard read that, but... You know, let's do this. I'm not even gonna... Yeah. I'm not even gonna think the Thunder stays in here. So the Lapras, come on. Tell me you think the Lapras gave you more value, because I definitely did. Ah, I made the wrong call. Yeah, I felt like Lapras gave them the most value out of anything there. Thunderous doesn't do too much. It's just going to KO my Rillaboom, which is whatever, I guess. Unless this is like Parish Song Lapras, I'm not terribly concerned. Or, you know, Sing Lapras. That'd be awful. They just protect. Yeah, they're just going to KO my um, my Rillaboom here. Go for the max airstream. I think I pretty, pretty heavily disagree with that Dynamax option, to be honest. Like, it worked out for the first turn, but I'm not sure how much they're going to enjoy that going forward. Alright. So I think my play is pretty clear here. I'm not really concerned with uh, the damage output from the Thunderous right now. I'm actually just going to go ahead and set up a Light Screen. And then a Reflect, because I can definitely eat a hit from the Thunderous. Or actually, mm, I guess I should concern myself with Thunderous right now. Because I can 100% I can eat the hit from the Lapras with either of my Pokemon. Yeah, I'll reflect first. And I'll max Hailstorm that Thunderous. Let 
as they opt not to max guard or anything. Maybe they just don't think I have Ice Punch. There's their max airstream. Yeah. Reflect was a good call there. And I'm especially defensive, so I shouldn't really be too concerned with the uh, ice move coming out from this thing. Unless they hide your pump. Yeah, I should tank that. Nice. Here's the hailstorm. And uh, I think they would max guard here, to be honest. Let me think. I should probably set up a light screen. The rest of his team isn't really concerning. I'm going to steel spike this Lapras again. Because I want a defense boost to deal with like things like Landorus and uh, the likely likelization in the back. And I'm going to go ahead and set up my light screen right now. Just to make sure um, if Lapras is carrying... It, we already saw it's carrying Freeze Drive. Just to make sure Finny doesn't take too much from that. And I also fully expect them to... Oh, they did not. Okay. I thought they were going to max guard with that Thunderous. As they get in the Landorus here, which is fine. I'm going to get a lot of damage. And there's 100%ization in the back. You almost never leave that at home in this matchup. There's the Airstream. And I mean, I'm a plus two Metagross behind screens. I think I can deal with the Landorus pretty easily, especially considering Landorus can't really click anything for too much damage. Or actually, no, no. Grassy Tran's going to go away as soon as my Finny hits the field. What if Landorus gets KO'd here? Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. No, all right, yeah, I'm fine. I feel good. Getting the Finny. Because they have nothing really to beat my uh, Metagross with. So, I kind of want to expect Thunderous to. I kind of want to expect Thunderous to fly here, to be honest, to avoid a hit. So I suppose my safest play. Actually, no. I'll just get rid of the Thunderous. I'll just get rid of the Thunderous. I'm not really concerned, and I'll protect here. I don't think it's gonna fly. Yeah, it did not protect. Let's see if it flies. Wild charge. Great. That's going to do like nothing. So they freeze dry. Awesome. I'm going to get rid of this thunder so the nice punch. And I feel pretty comfortable just doubling into the um doubling into the Zacian with stomping tantrum into Probably just stomping tantrum into like muddy water, I'll be fine. Freeze dry is gonna kinda hurt since it's life orb lapras, but it's not the biggest of deals. Usually these lapras are water absorbed, but I should still be able to win the 1v1. I'm mostly concerned with the Zacian right now. they protect, that's alright. At least I think it is. Let's see if it's water absorb. Yeah, it is. That's fine. 
I didn't have much damage on it anyways. So they freeze dry, I'm going to be able to tank that. Pretty well, in fact. Alright. I want to expect them to uh, Behemoth Blade into this Tapu Fini. If it's sub Zacian, that could be a little bit annoying. I will admit that. How many turns do I have left to reflect? I still have four turns. I'm fine. I'll protect here. There's the blade. They probably just doubled the finny here. As they missed their hydro pump. No, they were going for the metagross. That should do about half, right? Yeah, the hail will pick up the rest. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Let me think. Uh, likelihood of protecting the Zacian. I think it's pretty high. I think it's pretty high. But in case they don't. Because if they freeze dry me, I'm just going to get in the barrier range anyways. So I don't mind this. I'm not sure if I live the Behemoth Blade, though. Like, I have a Reflect up, right? But it's, uh, it's still plus one Behemoth Blade. I do not live. That's fine, I think. They land their Hydro Pump. How much is that doing? Ooh, that's actually pretty significant. I might have lost. Can I crit? Ooh, okay. Yeah, I think I just lose now, unfortunately. Um, I think my play here is assuming they just double into me. I'm going to Iron Head the Zacian because it doesn't matter. I have to have them... I have to live this for one, and then they need to miss a Hydro Pump, and then I have to flinch them. Oh, no. They're just going to freeze dry. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah. Um, let me think. How could I have brought that back? I think that maybe if the Landorus lived, funny enough, I would have been able to get off my weakness policy and done a lot more damage to the other side of the field. But unfortunately, uh, I got a little bit too lucky and ended up biting me in the butt later on. But that's fine. If you guys enjoyed this standpoint in time, do me a favor. It's a little bit funny, though. I only beat a Series 9 team, and then I lost to a Series 8 team. It's a little weird. Anyways, <laughs> thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, turn notifications, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.